Hi guys, it's Amir Khan. You're watching Disruptive Entrepreneur on YouTube, so subscribe, guys. I got through my whole uh, 17 fights. The 18th fight done a big deal with Sky, pay-per-view, massive promotion it was against a guy called Prescott and they said to me, look, this is a good fight for you. I was like, I was, I was, I was one of them fighters, I'll fight whoever you put me in front of. Yeah. And they said, uh, this guy's had, um, I think he had about 20 fights and knocked out 19. I'm like, cool, you know, it's fine. I'll go, I'll take the fight. And um, took the fight, obviously got beat in the first round, got knocked out. Sean, he's trying so bravely to get up, but he's counted out, and it's one of the biggest stunners in British boxing history of the modern era. A lot of people are self, after that said, should we retire now? See, I had a lot of haters, man. I had a lot of haters then, because they thought being so young, he's got a big name, and he's he's made so much money in the sport, and this is even before winning a world title. But obviously, it was because obviously I, I was... You know, I marketed my well, myself well, and obviously that's the reason. But when I got beat, I literally lost a lot, a lot of people around me, um, sponsorship deals, everyone, because they thought I was done then. Really? You know, and they, a lot of people follow what newspapers say. So a yeah. lot of the news people did put me down as well, saying that, you know, Amir got beat, and I think that's him done. So that was such a big motivation for me to come back stronger from it. Right. And it was the best thing that ever happened in my career, because if that didn't happen then, then, you know, it would have, like, I, I would never have won the, the world titles I won or yeah. won the big fights I did because that, in a way, would made me refocus and thought, you know, things can go wrong in yeah. life. And you have to stay focused throughout the whole, your whole career. Even if you get beat, you have to come back stronger from it. Mm -hmm. And and the doubters kind of motivated me as well. Right. So then I went back, changed my whole, ch ch whole training camp, I went and moved to America, trained with Freddie Roach. Did you doubt yourself? Or, or, and how did that defeat feel for you the first time in front of so yeah. many people? You're not just getting knocked out, you're getting knocked out in front of the whole world. Yeah, exactly. And the fight was shown in America and everywhere, all over, all over the world. And it was, it was quite embarrassing at the time. I was like, oh man, I got knocked out in front of so many people. Um, but then there's a few messages I was getting which were very supportive saying, look, it takes a, a tough man and a big man to stand up the way I did, because I remember when I got beat, I did a media press conference the next day with everyone, not hiding away. I didn't hide away from anyone. Mm. And people respected that. And I even went out. I had some thing bookings where I had to do some events and I still went there. Yeah. People were like, wow, you know, you just got knocked out. And obviously you still showed your face to thousands and millions of people. And I go, that's the way it is, you know. Mm. It's boxing for you end of the day. I can't hide away. I'm going to come back stronger from it. And that's yeah. what I did. After two fights after getting beat by Prescott, knocked out by Prescott, I was a world champion. Yeah. And no one, I don't, I mean, you say what you want, but after two fights of literally getting knocked out, people talking, saying that you are finished. I came back for Ocean Fagan and for Antonio Barrera, the big legendary name. I beat him. And then after that, I was a world champion. Yeah. Uh, beating uh, Kotelnik. So, you know, it's been a tough, it's been a tough run, man. Um, I've had a career where people have supported me, then dropped me, and then gone back to support me again. So, yeah, it's not an easy sport, man. It doesn't happen in this game, okay? Listen. All right? You're doing great. Stay okay. focused. No problem. You stay focused. Three minutes. The new WBA Mike Welterweight Champion of the World, Amir. Take a bow, Amir Khan, Britain's latest and newest champion of the world. Hi, I'm Amir Khan. Like and subscribe.